Hey, Mom, I'm home. Oh, just the person I wanted to see. Really? Have a seat, young lady. We need to talk. Uh, okay. What's up? Do you know who I just got off the phone with? No. Your English teacher. Miss Janica, what did she want? Why don't you tell me? Mom, I don't ask questions I don't that I know the answer to, so just tell me what she called. What happened in school today? A lot happened. Can it be more specific? Maria, this isn't funny. Your teacher told me that you raised your voice at her? <sighs> yeah, I raised my voice at her, but I didn't mean to. Well, tell me what was going on. Well, I was having a hard time with with my English assignment, and before I started the English assignment, the teacher says, raise your hand if you need help. So I'm like, okay. And then I, after 15 minutes, I'm still struggling. So I raised my hand like my teacher told me to, and she was, and she didn't see me at first. So I was getting really frustrated, and the, teach, uh, the teacher went to check on me, and when she saw I was having trouble, she goes, why didn't you raise your hand? And I was like, I did raise my hand. I didn't mean to raise my voice at my teacher. It just happened. Haven't you made a mistake like that? Yeah, well, your mistake just cost you a weekend at home. Mom, that is totally unfair. You weren't even there to see what happened. Honey, if you needed help, you, got, you, ha you could have been patient. I can't believe this. My teacher is... This is my teacher's fault, and I'm the one that gets in trouble. Can't you hear two sides of the story? Rivera, my decision's final. Go to your room. But go. This is so unfair. This is totally unfair. Maria, what's wrong? What's the matter? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing's wrong. Obviously, there is something wrong. So what is it? Just got grounded. Really? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. It was my stupid English teacher. Well, what happened? I was having trouble with my assignment, and I asked for help. The teacher didn't answer me right away, so I got frustrated. What did you say to the teacher? I said I been trying to ask for your help. That's all I said. And my teacher was like, watch the snippiness. And I'm like, I wasn't snapping. I just was frustrated. But the teacher didn't care. She had to go and call mom behind my back. You know, it seems like you're getting into a lot of trouble in school these days. I'm not getting into trouble. My teacher just likes to bond with mom and tell them, and they like to discuss how bad of a person they think I am. You're exaggerating. I'm sure Mom doesn't do it because of that. Yeah, of course you would believe Mom. Mom is never hard on you. You're the youngest and you get spoiled. This isn't about me. And I don't get spoiled. <laughs> yeah, you do. You get away with murder. Well, look, I'm sorry that you're upset, but don't accuse me. Don't take it out on me. I'm sorry, okay? Can you just go and... Let me have a minute to myself. Gladly. <sighs> hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. What's up? I need to talk to you. About what? About Maria. Her grounding is final. Mom, just hear me out on this. Okay. Maria didn't mean to snap at her teacher. She just got frustrated. I know, that's what Maria told me, but still, she raised her voice at her teacher, so she has to face the consequence. But is it necessary for you to ground her? I mean, why don't you just give her some extra chores or something? Listen, I don't tell her teacher how to do her job, and you can't tell me how to do mine. I'm the mother, and yeah, I know. I know you're the mother. The mother who's being unfair to Maria. Why do you even care if Maria's grounded? You and you girls don't even get along. It's not, it, this isn't about whether we get along or not. 
this is about practicality. I mean, was it really necessary for you to ground Maria? I mean, really. You weren't even there when it happened. Well, neither were you. Maybe not. But I spend more time with Maria than you do. I mean, you're always off to work all the time. But I spend practically every waking moment with Maria. And Maria's not the kind of person that would just give the teacher an attitude for the heck of it. I mean, why can't you just listen to what Maria has to say? You know, you're a very good sister to come here and stick up for her. Well, I had to. Maria's my sister and I love her. And I love you too. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You think talking to me is a waste of time? Mom, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant, no, it's okay. I'm going to go talk to your sister. Mom, did I hurt your feelings? A little, but I'll get over it. You stay and watch TV. I'm going to go talk to your sister. <sighs> what have I done? Come in. Hi, sweetie. Hey. Listen, honey, I think we need to have a talk. Okay. Did my English teacher call again and say how bad of a student I am? Listen, honey, I don't know what really happened at your school, but I know you don't overreact to teachers. You're very respectful and you're a great student. Thanks. Maybe a teacher does get too involved in your lives outside of school. Maybe I should have asked for your side of the story too. It's okay, Mom. No, it's not okay. I should have at least heard you out. I should have heard you out, and I didn't, and I am very sorry. Does this mean I'm not grounded anymore? Well, I'm going to have a conference with your teacher tomorrow. I'm going to come to the school, and we're going to have a conference. And then we'll see what to do from there. But, Mom, my teacher's just going to make me sound bad and then you're going to be even more angry with I'm not going to be angry with you you're usually a very good student so if you were getting frustrated you had to have been frustrated yeah well listen I want you to stay in here and do your homework but I'm not going to ground you for the weekend you're not no you're usually a good student and you only frustrate. I can't punish you for that. Why did you change your mind all of a sudden? Your sister, that's who changed my mind. Lexi made you change your mind? What did she say to you? She basically told me what I'm telling you now. I am really sorry that I wouldn't listen to you. It's okay, Mom. All right, get your homework done, and then when you're done, I'll look at it, and then when that's done, you can go out. Fail? Fail. All right. I'll let you know when dinner's ready. Okay. Mom? Yes? Can you tell Lexi to come in here? Okay, but I better not hear you guys fighting. Believe me, we're not going to be fighting. Okay. I'm going to start dinner. <sighs> hey, Mom said you wanted to see me. Yeah, sit down. I got to talk to you. What do I do now? You did something, but it was nothing bad. Huh? Mom told me what you said to her about how I should, she shouldn't be hard on me and everything. You really told Mom that, that I was innocent, like that I had a good reason for raising my voice? Basically. I told Mom it was unnecessary to ground you. Well, thanks. I really appreciate you sticking up for me, but why did you do it? Can't I be a good sister once in a while? Yeah. Besides, if you were home all week and I would be stuck in here with you, listening to you moaning, I had to get rid of you somehow. <laughs> that is the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Yeah. Well, look, um, I better get started on my homework. And when I go out with my friend, I want you to come with us. What? You deserved it. You deserve it. You stood up for me. And I really appreciate that. There's no way I could repay you. You're right, you can't. Yeah, well, I could start 
by letting you hang out with me and Joss. Really? You really want me to hang with you? I really do. Okay, I'm not going to say no to that. Great. Well, look, I'm going to let Mom know about our plans. Okay, but we probably won't be leaving till around 7 or 8. I got to get my homework done first. No problem. Thanks, thanks in advance for letting me hang out with you and Joss. No, thank you for sticking up for me. It's okay. Don't mention it. Ever. Okay. <laughs>